welcome to another exciting episode of davinci resolve and fusion tutorials so today let's take a look into the probe modifier in resolve fusion today we'll be creating this from scratch now as you see the flames and uh, the flames this is part of the stock footage and now you also see the shark and this shark is added via fusion you know, from the 3d page now you might be wondering how i made the light react according to these flames and that is where the probe modifier comes in let's start davinci resolve now let's get started they have the stock footage i'll add it up into the edit page and now let's move on to the fusion page now we have the media in and media out so I'll import a 3D shark FBX along with its textures and connect it like so. And now you have the shark. And let me reduce the size of this as it's uh, huge to something around 0 0.1. So now we have this shark now let's see how to integrate this shark in this environment so let's move this like so and let's disconnect this media one and let's add a spotlight like so and let's enable the lighting and shadows to see the lights and let's move the lights a bit forward this should be good now we have the lighting and let's add a renderer 3d let's weave it in this viewport now we need to add a camera let's select merge 3d and let's set the position for the camera and drag and drop the camera icon in the viewport and you get something like this now this is a rendered view maybe let's change the position slightly and this should be good now let's take a look into the media image and this is 3840 by 2160 and let's change this rendered output to the same size and it's already the same size so let's merge it now we got the shark in the image let's reduce the size a bit and position it like so and let's enable the lightning lighting and shadows and change it to opengl renderer what we need to do is probe this light source and extract the colors from this and put it on to the spotlight so that this spotlight color changes based on this fire and this scene. So what we need to do is go into the spotlight and you have red, green, blue channels. You can right click on the red channel and say modify with the probe. Now you get you get the modifiers tab enabled now let's also add a probe modifier for each of the channels for the green channel and the blue channel now that we have got all these modifiers added for all the channels now this is the image to probe and the image to probe is this background image so what you need to do is click on this media in node which is basically the footage now click drag and drop by releasing it you get something like this similarly this is for the red channel similarly for probe 2 change this to green and drag the media in node and drop it here similarly for probe 3 change this to blue so you get red green and blue from this image so now you got the probe from basically you're probing 
at this point which is the center position you can change the position but if you need to change the position you need to change the position of all the channels to the same point so that because R RGB are added together to give that uh, color you can also create a rectangle to push you can position it where you want to probe it in this case let's leave it like that because this is fine actually let's try playing it once and see how it reacts and uh, this is fine but uh, let's increase the intensity of the spotlight slightly two or maybe 1.5 yeah this looks better now let's also add a color correction node after this render of 3d and slightly the blacks are crushed here while the blacks here are not so let's slightly increase the lift and let's pre-divide and post multiply maybe two three okay now as you see it's better integrated with the background footage you can also add a light wrap around this shack to make it uh, more integrated with the background so you'll find the light wrap uh, template in templates under fusion and uh, how to you have this light wrap i'm not going to add the light wrap now you can try it out let me connect this merge node to the media out now let's play it back and see our effect you can add a tracker and connect this shack to the tracker so that it moves according to how the camera moves and as you see the color on the shack the light on the shack basically reacts based on this fire source so that's the probe modifier infusion if you like this video please do consider subscribing thank you have a great day